Hi friends, welcome to the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. Ashish here and today I'll be covering a puzzle genre called Nori Nori Puzzle. So I've already covered a video uh, of this puzzle genre earlier on our channel. So I'll add the link in the description below for the earlier video where you can uh, look out for some basic techniques on how to solve a Nori Nori Puzzle. Now uh, coming on to this uh, video, today we'll be solving two puzzles uh, from uh, two different authors. The first puzzle is by uh, Joran H uh, and the second puzzle is by Zond. So I really thank the authors for uh, uh, giving me an opportunity to cover a video on our channel. So the first puzzle that we are solving is, uh, solving is by uh, Joran H and I, uh, I was really surprised because it was the first puzzle by the author, uh, the first uh, Nori Nori puzzle that he has constructed and I really wanted to uh, cover a video on the Nori Nori puzzle. So uh, let's see if we are uh, able to crack the puzzle or not, right? And before going to the puzzle, I would highly recommend you to please subscribe to the channel and shackling Sudokus and puzzles if you haven't done so. It will really motivate us to cover videos on daily basis. And if at all you have a request for any Sudoku variant or a puzzle genre, do let us know in the comment below and we'll surely make a video on it, right? And now coming back to the puzzles. So uh, uh, Nori Nori is a really fun genre. Uh, I really love solving Nori Nori puzzles and the logic behind the uh, puzzle genre is really amazing, right? So uh, before going to the puzzle, we will see what are the rules of this Nori Nori puzzle. So you need to uh, shade some dominoes, right? So dominoes are nothing but you have to shade uh, two cells at a stretch together in such a way that, right, uh, every region contains exactly two shaded cells and shaded dominoes cannot touch each other orthogonally. Right, so the, it is not necessary that both the cells you have to you are shading are of the same region. Right, you can have of different regions, and both of these regions are fulfilled now. Right, so you need to shade exactly two cells in the uh, exactly two. I mean to say, you have to shade dominoes in the grid in such a way that every region has two cells, uh, two cells shaded. Will that uh, will start uh, solving this puzzle? So. So one of the basic technique that here I see is the uh, L trimino here. So the moment you get an L trimino here, the center cell right outside of the L trimino will never be shaded. So it's a basic uh, nori nori technique here because if we shade this, there is no way that you will be able to shade two cells of this uh, trimino, right? You will able to shade one this, this or none of these cells and uh, sorry. Right, so this cell would have to be uh, unshaded here. Oh, okay, that way we, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. So that way we form an another trimino here. That's a good start. So that makes this cell as unshaded. And that indeed actually gives you another trimino. That makes this cell as unshaded, right? Wow, that is going uh, somewhere uh, very good. A very uh, nice uh, introductory, I would say a basic uh, general puzzle here that's a really an excellent puzzle from uh, Joran H and uh, if you see this this cell has to be unshaded now which makes this cell as unshaded because of the trimino here and there was a trimino already here so that makes this cell as unshaded right okay so I think so the basic thing is done here now coming on to a bit of uh, different kind of thinking here uh, one of the different kind of thinking is that uh, for this uh, trimino here, both of these cells cannot be shaded because what happens here is both of these cells becomes unshaded and this region has only one cell uh, left and you need two cells to be shaded. So in this matter what happens is both of these cells cannot be shaded at a stretch or together which means this cell will have to be shaded. Right? Nice one. Same way both of these cells cannot be shaded because the same logic applies to the upper region now. Both of these cells are shaded there, both of these cells will have to be unshaded, right? So, which means this cell would have to be shaded, right? Okay, that's a nice one, that's a really good one. Okay, I see that if this cell is unshaded, both of these cells gets a shaded here and then this region has only one cell shaded. So which means this cell would have to be shaded. Okay. Uh, 
there is a very good logic here that is a very good logic here that seems to be a really good puzzle actually uh, basic uh, puzzle but still uh, still uh, the uh, the logic is tricky here i see that both of these cells cannot be shaded because in this stream you know if both of these cells are shaded you have a uh, trimino formed here right a three cell shaded form here so this cell would have to be shaded now it makes this cell as unshaded this cell is shaded this cell is shaded this cell is shaded both of these cells are shaded this cell is shaded both of these cells are shaded wow that is a really good break in guys excellent break in this cell is shaded and this cell is shaded right so we get all of these as unshaded this cell is shaded and both of these cells are shaded that's nice that's a really good puzzle here okay wow guys this is awesome i love these kind of puzzles i love this kind of logics as well so if you see here i have two ways to continue this puzzle now easy ways you i, I can say one of the ways a uh, uniqueness trap here and the second way is uh, uniqueness uh, trick here and the second way is a really good one again so i'll go with the uniqueness trick here first what happens if i shade both of these cells now what happens at this point of time is of course for now the puzzle is still logically solvable i mean to say the puzzle is still not breaking right not breaking anywhere maybe a few steps ahead you can see the uh, the puzzle is broke but right now you can see that the puzzle is still in a solvable position where you don't see anything breaking uh, uh, right anything contradiction here now what happens is suppose i have solved the puzzle fully it is still solvable suppose i have solved the puzzle fully i can still remove this cell and shade this cell and the puzzle is still unique of course a puzzle can have only one unique solution and as uh, the author has intended something in it and author has made sure that this puzzle is uniquely solvable with just one solution i can say that there cannot be two solutions to this puzzle right so what happens if i shade both of these cells and the puzzle is solvable now right uh, i have uh, i have solved this puzzle the moment i see that after the puzzle is solved i can still change this cell to this cell and still the puzzle is uh, not breaking anywhere which means both of these cells cannot be shaded and both of these cells will have to be shaded now what makes both of these cells to be shaded is nothing but you are getting forced by your shaded cell to make sure that these two cells are shaded yeah you need you, you need to have a shaded cell that forces both of these cells to be shaded and i may, i can make sure that this cell would have to be shaded which forces this cell to be unshaded and these two cells to be shaded this is quite a complex thing uh if you are uh, new to this puzzle or this kind of logics but i am sure that this cell will have to be shaded and that is this cell is forcing this cell to be unshaded and uh, forcing these two cells to be shaded right because if this cell is a unshaded cell sorry if this cell is unshaded cell i can shade any of these two cells to make sure that the uh, puzzle has two unique uh, two solutions right so of course that is not possible that was a really good technique guys a really an excellent technique i really love the puzzle here thanks a lot uh, joran for such an excellent puzzle i am really enjoying uh, this puzzle even if with the smaller grid right so i will not go with the uniqueness thing now because i want to make sure that i solve it logically for our audience to see how the logic works right the second thing i was saying was the second thing now the second thing directly you know directly gives us this as a shaded cell now let us see what happens if i shade this cell now right for this shaded cell the second shaded cell will have to be this or this so if i say shade this cell right this is unshaded this cannot be shaded now this also becomes unshaded and you have only one shaded cell in that region so which means that this cell would have to be shaded we are back to square one right we are we are back to the position that we earlier said that this cell would have to be shaded and it's done awesome the second logic now continuation is that this cell will have either this as a shaded cell or this as a shaded cell and that fulfills the region so we can unshade all the other cells right and now if you see here if i shade this cell right you have four uh, cells out of which three would have to be shaded this is a shaded cell now 
and you have one cell uh, left which cannot be shaded separately so which means that this cell would have to be shaded that shades these two cells these two cells and these two cells and with that we complete this gorgeous puzzle by joran what an excellent puzzle this was and i really really enjoyed this puzzle right now coming on to the uh, second puzzle by uh, zone so let's go with that uh, second puzzle sorry i'll have to uh, minimize the screen so i have done this a uh, really bigger puzzle here I, if i can see this is a really big region and shading only two cells in this region is really a uh, seems to be a really difficult one let's see i think the smaller regions need to help us out in this matter so let's see again uh, the start is with the trimino here both of these cells will have to be unshaded and both of these cells will have to be unshaded right okay so i see here is same logic that we applied in the earlier smaller puzzle is both of these cells cannot be shaded at a stretch i mean to say simultaneously because both of these gets unshaded so this cell is a shaded and this cell is a shaded right so if both of these are shaded this cell has only one region same way i can see with these uh, cells if both of these are shaded or both of these are shaded gets a contradiction so nice so now this is unshaded this is unshaded and this is unshaded because as i have said this cell can either go towards the up or towards the right and that makes this cell as unshaded the same logic works here with this cell again both of these cells cannot be shaded because that uh, gives that makes this region only with one cell shaded right okay so which means this cell would have to be shaded and that actually starts the puzzle wow sorry that actually starts the puzzle here i can see what is happening here mm. wow that is nice that is nice guys that seems to be a really good one okay i can see that both of these cells cannot be shaded because you will have uh, only two cells left and one cell cannot be shaded so this cell would have to be shaded this cell would have to be shaded and of course one cell cannot be shaded so this cell would have to be shaded and this cell would have to be shaded and of course this cell cannot be shaded because that makes this region fulfilled but you have only one cell shaded you need to form a domino here so this cell is a shaded this cell is a shaded and this cell is a shaded here that's nice okay so we are done with the uh, right part of the grid uh, easy one let's go with the left part of the grid now i can see that i have same uh, trick applied here in the left part of the grid both of these or both of these cannot be shaded both of these or both of these i mean to say both of these or these cannot be shaded that again gives us the same logic guys let's see if this is really the same thing that we are seeing again it's kind of a deja vu here hmm okay so both of these cannot be shaded for this region because that will form a trimino here so this would have to be shaded come on now this seems to be a difficult one guys nothing uh, much concrete here i could see so if this cell is a shaded you don't have enough cells to be shaded in this region this becomes unshaded this becomes unshaded this also will have to be unshaded because you can form a domino here so for this uh, cell the second cell cannot be this okay i get a very good logic here again can this cell be unshaded because if this cell is unshaded both of these cells cannot be shaded now okay uh, another way to see is what we used to see now uh, till this uh, solve till this video both of these cannot be shaded at a stretch because now there is uh, no way you can form a domino with this cell right so this would have to be shaded right that's nice
Come on. Okay, so I get is you. If this cell is a, okay, if this cell is a shaded one. Okay, so if this is a shaded cell, uh, the left part is quite tricky here. So if this is a shaded cell, both of these would have to be shaded and you have only one cell left, uh, one cell shaded in this region. So this is also unshaded, that shades, that unshades this cell, right? That unshades this cell because either this cell or this cell would have to be shaded. Am I right? I'll just again go with... Uh, the earlier logic so if this is shaded this and this can still be shaded oh yeah bad so if this is shaded ah uh, okay uh, let me see it again so Okay, I can see that both of these cannot be shaded, so this cell would have to be shaded. If if these two cells are shaded, it is still possible. If I get a shaded cell here, it cannot be, this one would have to be the one. Okay, so if this cell is a shaded one, I cannot go towards the right, towards the left, even towards the top because you'll have only one cell shaded, so it has to be the bottom. And now if you see here, you need to sell two cells out of the three. You need to shade two cells out of the three, which is not possible. If I shade this, not possible. If I shade both of these, again, not possible. So quite a difficult one. This cell would have to be shared, unshaded. And now if you see here, that's the logic here. Both of these cannot be shaded. That shades this cell. And that shades this cell, that shades this cell, this cell, these cells. Wow, that is uh, a really uh, difficult one. That was quite tricky here. There were too many ways to uh, see the logic, but very difficult in general. So, yeah, I have already one cell shaded here. So the other cell will have to be just one cell coming out at the edge of the grid. And this cell is a shaded cell. Now this cell will give you this cell as a shaded cell. Wow. That was a cool puzzle guys. A really tricky one. The right part was quite easy. But the left part was really tricky. So I hope you enjoyed both of these puzzles. And I really thank both the authors for such a wonderful puzzle. I, I really enjoyed both the puzzles. The smaller one and the bigger one. The bigger one was quite tricky. But the smaller one was also tricky uh, uh, compared to its size. And uh, it started with the basic notations and the breaking was really uh, awesome. For this puzzle, the breaking was really good because seeing the uh, top left part was really tricky here. I could see that uh, there were uh, quite a tricky deductions. I could have solved this uh, puzzle faster uh, during competitions. Just uh, looking ahead a bit, 5-6 uh, steps was really easy in such, difficult, uh, such uh, smaller regions. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. We are really uh, getting motivated with your request of uh, videos and uh, your subscription. So if at all you have a request for any Sudoku variant or a puzzle genre, do let us know in the comment below and we will surely make a video on it. Thank you.